Meatball Sandwich. Outsiders, hello, Tony from the Outsider Channel here with you. Uh, uh, today's a special day. We're riding in San Diego at one of the best rides you can ride in San Diego, and the first time I've ever ridden this ride in San Diego. A lot of things happening in San Diego today, as you can tell. Noble Canyon, and I'm going to be taking my friend Tatsu. Along in this ride, and he is a local business owner, owner of Tokyo Automotive. Tokyo Automotive is a sponsor of this channel, family owned business. He does quality, not quantity, and I love that philosophy. Hit up Tokyo Automotive, talk to Tatsu. He doesn't always work with his full face on. Also, one more thing I have a group ride coming up this. This Saturday, the 22nd of January, at YT, it's a collab ride I'm hosting with them for the first time they're ever doing this, and I'm the guinea pig. There's gonna be mimosas after the ride, that's right, it's a group ride and mimosa ride. Yeah, hit me up on Instagram too if you have any questions, and with that, I'm gonna shut the hell up and send you over to the ride in San Diego. Let's ride Noble Canyon. Big Laguna Trail, we're on a shuttle day today, so we're doing an extra five miles down this one until Noble, let's go. And we're off. Oh, we got some chunky chunk already. We're hanging out with the animals today. Literally riding a fence line through a rustic meadow in the middle of the mountains. Not bad. It's about 50 degrees up here and we're about to head into the top of the Noble Canyon Trailhead. This is a nice little extra credit. Blue Trail, little XC run through the wilderness. If you guys have the time, it's not too long, a few miles. Recommended, but if you just want to get to the grit of the ride, I'll meet you there. Obey. All right, we are officially on Noble Canyon, making the first initial climb up. There's a couple climbs in here. Don't get fooled by that shuttle terminology. It is a long ride, so come prepared. Bring water, bring some snacks. You've got quite a ride ahead of you. All right, we are at Noble Canyon and we're about to drop in for our first descent with Tatsu. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little peripheral view of where we're at and what we have ahead of us. Take a look. All right, let's get it guys. Eye in the sky. We gotta mix the fast and chunk. It looks like it's ridden pretty fairly often. I am riding blind, so I wanna be a little bit careful here. Don't know what I'm getting myself into, but this looks amazing. Come on, Jordy. Turns come up quick. Got Tatsu in front of me for the first time. Tatsu and I are the same age we just discovered. Both just turned 21. <laughs> It's a little dad humor there. I'm not a dad, but I've got the humor. Oh, that's good. Whew. Ah, we're in the forest. I love the microclimates. I'm a microclimate fan.
<laughs> got it. Yeah, we got some switchy backs. Rock garden switchbacks. Woo! Yep. It's gonna look like nothing on the GoPro, but it's some. Chunky chunk. This section of trail is super fun. Even though I'm fast forwarding it, you get the idea. It's a lot of fast single track, some switchbacks. This trail is amazing because not only do you go through microclimates, but you go through patches of flow, patches of fast single track, and then just full on rock garden sections where your upper body's getting punished and your brain is just staying present as much as you can. You'll see that's to come and uh, just check it in, you guys. Good times ahead. Tatsu says there's a pretty gnar rock garden coming up over here. Keep my eyes open. So we're now coming into that rock garden that I just spoke of, and I didn't know it at the time, but this entire section of trail is that rock garden. I kept thinking that it was going to end and it just kept going, and I just kept trying to push that momentum forward, and it ended up working out, but it's a really, not treacherous I'd say, but definitely rocky rock garden. <laughs> There's a description for you. And sorry about the little snaps and things. That's just the uh, GoPro snapping against my zipper, which I will never do again. I promise you that. That was a lot, yeah. <laughs> Still going. Wow. Yep. Yeah, Tatsu. We're now heading deeper and deeper into the woods and into this trail system. That's hard slow. And I was surprised to learn the further into this trail you go, the more technical and rocky it gets. So a little bit of a forewarning there. And fun meter warning, I guess you could say, because it is fun if you like technical stuff. But this trail started off very flowy and then, yeah. You want the chunk? You got the chunk, Tony. Oh, 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 oh my god, getting a little hot. <laughs> what the I got a little hot, Tatsu. Hold on, we got damn heart rate's about 130. I came in a little hot. The lime, does that work? <laughs> 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 sneaky, sneaky sneaks. Sharp rock. <laughs> GoPro effect. Is real. So let me roll, T train. Going from just rock desolate areas to forest to the desert all in one ride. Feels like you're just kind of traveling through countries or traveling around the world all in one descent. One of the things I'm most passionate about in mountain biking, it's not just the, the jumping and the, the gnarly stuff, it's the beauty. If you'll give me that, that this bike brings to our world and 
the mental health that comes with it. Being out there in the outdoors, doing something you love while enjoying mother nature, you can't lose. Again, a, quite an upper body workout today. Even though I'm on an e-bike, I'm feeling it. This chunk makes you work. This section was interesting to me because I remember thinking it was like flat and flowy and then all of a sudden it gradually turned into this rocky mess. And it really felt like a mess. If you are looking at this right now with me, yeah, it was uh, one of those rocky or rock gardens that I spoke of before that just stayed that way for the entire section of trail. It really kicked my ass. Towards the end of the Noble Canyon ride, things start to have this San Juan feel where you look out on the pastures and the views and it reminds you of that if you're familiar with that trail. But the trail itself does not feel like San Juan at all. We're heading into one of the longest and toughest and most technical rock gardens I would say in Southern California. I think it's known as the Highway to Hell. And you're about to find out why. I'm at about 15 PSI, so if that holds, we can get back to my truck. But the problem is, I just remembered, I brought my friggin' keys with me up top. So that totally mutes the shuttle. And now we either have to find an Uber or somebody really nice in the parking lot to bring us back to Tatsu's car. I'm an idiot. I know. So the highway to hell got me. The ceiling just wasn't holding. It was one of those weird flats that the sidewall got blown out and uh, I was lucky to get some PSI in there get back to the car. I can't wait to get back to Noble Canyon. New videos every single week. Join me on Patreon if you want to get some early video releases, group rides, a great community, and subscribe and like because I like you. Like if you like likes. I'll see you next week.